Hi, my name is Sam, and welcome to ColorMyIncome.com. Now, you would have already purchased your domain name for your online business, and you'd be looking to actually set up the website itself on the, your hosting package. Now, I'm assuming that you've got one of these packages. Um, these are classified under the Linux hosting, and you would be looking at the um, either the basic unlimited or unlimited plus packages, I have personally gone for the Unlimited Plus equivalent um, because we've I've been with them for a long time and we've used them and we've trusted them and we are very happy with their support. Now, with the domain name already registered and your hosting package that you've decided and bought into, you can then log into their console, the backend console. Once you've got your e uh, password and username logged on, you would then see this back-end console that allows you to control and manage all your domain names. Eventually, if you have more than one website, you might have one for each of your businesses. Um, then you can come in here and buy some more, add, manage them, and create web spaces for them, as well as different websites for them. But what we're interested today is to look at how to get you up and running quickly. So once you're logged on to the console, backend console, scroll down on the left column, you would see the one and one app center. Now this is what you want. The app center helps you build your website um, as simple as clicking and, and going with the settings. Next, you'll be looking at these two options. Now click and build is what you want. You'll be building your website based on different platforms or different open source software. Um, we'll be looking specifically at WordPress. Um, we'll um, set this aside for later. So click on click and build. Okay. And the next screen brings you to all the different options out there. And we don't, don't be distracted at this point because you tend to uh, Magneto being an e-commerce product, Drupal, another um, quite popular content management system, Joomla is the other one. But what we really want is our friend here, WordPress. Now, why WordPress, you say? WordPress is a well-known, open source, well-established, very popular, probably world's first or world number one, um, sort of platform for bloggers. But beyond blogging, you're looking at a platform that allows you to expand further. You allow you to um, adopt different plugins that adds functionalities to your website. And this is what we really want in your website. You don't want just a blog or a website. You want to be able to expand. So if I click on install WordPress, as you can see, it's one of the top downloads. You will then be presented with these three options. You can go with safe mode, which means one in one will manage your uh, website for you, but they would lock it down to just a few specific parameters just to make their job manageable. Um, you will not be able to install plugins, but they will keep your site up to date. Or you can use the free mode. The free mode is where you're given the freedom um, to install plugins, which is what we're really interested in. Um, you would then also be notified, so you'll not be kept out dry. You'd be notified as and when there are security patches, so you can apply them at your own uh, pace. Um, this is, uh, there are times when security patches all well and good, but you've got to make sure that your website is ready for it. So you've got to decide when you can apply the update um, just so that you minimize your disruption to the audience or visitors to your website. Equally, you've got to make sure that your updates are being tested before you apply them because they might break some of the plugins that you've got already installed or you've paid for. So you might want to hold back on certain updates, make sure that your developers or the software that you bought into has got its own updates equivalent updates that will patch itself um, and then you apply the security updates provided by WordPress. All well, you know, all in good time, I'm sure. You can look into that uh, a bit later. Now, the evaluation mode, we're not interested in that. We're just going to go with free mode. So click on install in free mode. You then get these um, open source, uh, co uh, sorry, EULA for the code that you're about to install as well as the term of use for the one in one click and build option that what we're using now. Now the one in one build and click and build is obviously a um, easy route for you to set up a website without um, 
much fuss in terms of knowing the technicalities of things. So I'm just going to agree with these, click continue. And next, it will ask you what, which domain you're going to use and what you're going to call this domain. Now, I've got a bunch of domains myself. I'm just going to go with an existing subdomain for testing. Now, you can choose your domain that you've got up there. I'm going to go with staging.getaprenup.co.uk, which is a site that I'm about to set up, but I'm just going to do that as a test site. So, you know, with the unlimited package, you can create as many subdomains as you want, and you can lock it away with a password, password protect the site, so that it can become your test site as well. So this is what we do um, as a process um, in terms of checking out the plugins or checking out the updates so it doesn't crash with um, uh, the core codes on WordPress. So I'm going to call this my uh, website name. Now you can see here, you can choose a, a top level domain you can choose a subdomain that you have created, or you can use this to create your new subdomain uh, by adding simply adding a name here and choosing the domain where it's going to be attached. Now, this would be your login, administrator login. So these are what you need to put in. So administrator login, I'll call it the, um, so I'm just going to call it a simple, Okay, now you can have to set a strong password for this, obviously um, a combination of um, at least seven letters, a combination of uppercase and lowercase, a combination of numbers, a combination of special, char special characters, hash, exclamation, full stop, that sort of thing. And you got to repeat that password. Put in a, an email account and the block title. Click continue when you're ready. Must not contain spaces. Okay, obviously, this is the first, first time I'm using the click and build. I have always been setting up a uh, website space uh, on a manual route, but here we go. I'm just learning as I go, as you are. Okay, so what it's saying here is that the application name must contain at least three characters, up to 50 and may only consist of letters, numbers, and underscore. So no spaces. So I was trying one with spaces earlier. Right. So now we're on the table on the database uh, option. So you can use an existing database or you can just ask it to create a new database. So click on the new database because you don't want to be overwriting any of your existing database if you have um, have them. Leave the prefix alone or if you want to be creative and just to be sure that you know now prefix are quite uh, important here it's one of those steps that you take to protect your database. Um, a randomized prefix like this creates a, a table in a database in where all your data is stored and um, it makes it just that bit more difficult for um, hackers to get to. So here we go we finished the creating of a new database and put in all the settings that we need click on continue this will be the web space. Now, obviously it has decided that it will put in, put it in a click and build directory, WordPress, get a prenup, but hey, you know, I would rather it be on the root. And I'm gonna try this now, which is get a prenup staging site. And this is my site. Obviously you're gonna go with um, the name of your domain. So just to make it clear. Um, and I would go with that continue and there you are so you've now got the latest version of uh, WordPress and it's installed in the subdomain and the database is called get a prenup staging site in my case obviously yours would be different and it will be in this directory now if you're happy with this copy just highlight copy and paste it on a, a word document or a text uh, document and have this saved away together with the password that we were looking at earlier to set up your database. Otherwise, just click install and you'd say that I would like to be informed about any security updates, new releases and security warnings for this application. That is good. Um, just as good best practice, have that checked so you get emails whenever there are problems or security updates needing your attention. So I click install and here we go. Right. So here we are, the 
uh, we're now in the web hosting tab and this is where we use the click and build option to create a free mode a free mode WordPress installation um, and in my case these are the settings um, that I've decided it to use so you would see that the admin URL is here it is currently installing the site so I can click on staging or click on the link to go to my admin console for the site that it's installing so I might leave it for a while and come back to it later just so that once this goes off uh, or when it's ready um, we can log in to the back end of our installation and have a good look so catch you later